Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow Denarian friends to help support our channel. Believe me it makes a huge difference and I appreciate it very much. Please take the time and check out our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Denar community. You can use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off along with the mobile application for free. I also highly recommend you registering as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program made for the financially challenged as I like to call it. It makes saving gold easy and affordable for everyone. Now is the time to get involved if you have not already done so. Both of the links are in the description below. Okay in today's news, I have to get something off of my chest and go down the rabbit hole as my friend Pimpy would say. If you do not know who Pimpy is, I will leave a link in the description below. You need to go check out his channel. It is loaded with highly informative videos related to the Iraqi dinar. Alright so back to the rabbit hole. Those of you that have been following my news videos for a while now, have seen how in some of my thumbnail images, I have have hinted at a CBDC, or central bank digital currency here and there. Let me start out by saying every day. I sift through literally hundreds of news articles to select for my blog, and from there I select a couple that stand out, to bring here to you in the videos you see. Let me say that the only articles I have seen in relation to a US CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, stated that the US Treasury had no intention and no need for one at the current time. Well, all that changed as of today. Now. Today I must have run into 10 to 20 articles easy, throughout the day. Now here is where I take you down the rabbit hole. Is it coincidental that all of a sudden, the day after President Trump signs the Phase 1 trade agreement, which has a whole chapter dedicated to China manipulating its currency the Yuan, which is getting ready to officially launch any day now with its own CBDC, and the US now is launching a CBDC for the US dollar which I go into today below. Now, we all know that recently Iraq and China have their own trade agreements, using electronic oil credits to pay for the jobs and or services that they are providing for Iraq. On that note, if you do a Google search for CBDC, or central bank digital currency, you will see virtually every country out there, already has or is working diligently on their own CBDC, the only two that I never saw an article on, were the US dollar and one other. Yes you guessed it the Iraqi dinar. I told you I was taking you down the rabbit hole didn't I? But think about it, would it not make sense, if China is going to be doing all of its trading in a digital yuan, wouldn't it make sense that other countries do the same in their own digital currency? The CBI has been very secretive and just about everything they do behind the scene of the mainstream media. Is it not possible that they could be planning to roll out an asset-backed central bank digital currency of their own? We already know they are pushing for a cashless society. And we all know that both a digital currency and a paper currency can coexist, say for a period of time. Just something to think about as I go over these articles of interest for today. I would love to hear all your thoughts on this, please comment below. Well on that note, let's get started. Here are just a few I brought over from my blog for today. Trade Agreement with China What is waiting for Iraq? Iraq lives in an embarrassing economic situation, after exiting from its violent war against the terrorist organization ISIS and the displacement and destruction that these wars left behind have depleted the country's material capabilities, which need comprehensive reconstruction, in light of a federal budget that suffers from deficit and accumulated debts and trillions of dinars. The Iraqi government took a step towards reform by signing a comprehensive trade agreement with the Chinese government on September 23, 2019, in Beijing representing a new economic stage in the reconstruction of infrastructure for Iraq, within a program that can be called oil for reconstruction, as Iraq is one of the most important sources of supplying crude oil to the People's Republic of China, with an export between 750,000 barrels to 1 million barrels per day, 
and the trade balance between the two countries is not less than $30 billion annually thanks to the momentum of merchandise imports from China. Here, the opinions of the observers on these agreements were divided between a supporter and a critic, which is concluded with the second largest economic country in the world, possessing advanced technology, and giant companies, which can contribute to revitalizing the economy and improving services in Iraq but is Iraq eligible for those contracts at the time he is suffering from financial and administrative corruption and the precarious political situation, in addition to the internal crises, from the protests and the consequences of the killing of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Commander Qasem Soleimani on the street, and the tension that Iraq is experiencing due to the American-Iranian conflict and the government between the pro yen to Iran and among those rejecting its presence in Iraq, and what may be caused by the international financial sanctions by the American Federal Bank. We mentioned this in a previous article. The question that arises in this circumstance. Is the land of Iraq fertile for the start of investments? He sees some independent politicians who confirmed that the agreement will inflict fraud on Iraq and mortgage its oil for 50 years, and independent politician Laith Shabar said, the signing of the agreement by an independent government and its implementation reflects the existence of suspicions of corruption. To get acquainted with the terms of the agreement between Iraq and China. 1. The agreement without penal terms and falls within the friendship agreements. In the event of a dispute, the recognized international arbitration bodies are resorted to. 2. The term of the agreement is 20 years. 3. The Iraq-China Fund for Reconstruction is established, supervised by the Iraqi government and a guarantee consulting firm, and is chosen by the central bank among the top five largest global companies. 4. The Chinese party guarantor of the agreement is the Chinese Insurance Corporation, Sinochor, which is the supreme governmental organization. 5. The revenues of 100,000 barrels per day of oil sold to China, specifically for the Chinese, Xinhua and Sinoc, companies, shall be seized, and the revenues of this oil shall be placed in the Iraqi Chinese Fund. 6. The credit limit of Chinese banks to the Iraqi Chinese Fund is $10 billion, with interest subsidized by the Chinese government. 7. If the first package of projects succeeds, and Iraq desires to increase investment, the ceiling for Iraqi oil sales will be raised to 300,000 barrels per day, and China will increase the borrowing ceiling to $30 billion. 8. The amount is deposited with a bank, stake bank then the bank transfers the account to the American Federal Reserve Bank in New York, which oversees the total Iraqi oil sales, and there is an Iraq account of sales, then the amount is transferred to a new account called the investment account. Investment account. 9. An account is created in the name of the debt service account, repay account, and it is devoted to support the interest rate, and its amounts are deducted from the investment account. 10. The fund includes the coverage of the following projects, airports, building schools, paving external roads, rails, treating pollution of the Tigris and Euphrates Shat al-Arab, building housing complexes, infrastructure projects, energy and desalination projects, other projects as requested by the Iraqi government. If the cost of one of the projects above is $1 billion, then the amount is taken from the fund by $850 million from China and $150 million from Iraqi oil sales. 11. The Council of Ministers chooses the above projects, and signs a one-time contract, for example, a contract is signed to build 2,000 schools with an open contract called an open contract. 12. The Iraqi oil money started depositing on 10 January 2019, and the amount of half a billion dollars has accumulated so far, with China ready to deposit $10 billion, it was hoped that the first projects would be chosen these days, but the government would turn into a caretaker government that stripped it of the power to sign. 13. Iraq has the right to choose international European, American companies to be partners with China, according to the type of project. With regard to China, the agreement 
The agreement is not without a political dimension, since China is searching for allies in the region, but the economic dimension is clear. The Chinese money is looking for its investments, and the technology needs a market for its disposal, and the Iraqi side is also looking for allies with high technological capacity, significant liquidity, and countries with a difference in the exchange rate against the dollar, makes the work value greater than the paper value of domestic money. China has great seriousness in making investments inside Iraq, for a reason that differs from the United States' approach to Iraq, as the U.S.'s political orientation is intended to create a state of balance in the Middle East region, whether politically or militarily, unlike China, which has commercial allies in the region, as a result its flexible policy. China is moving at a deliberate and steady pace to become the largest empire in the world to compete with the United States by building a new world order, and it is working through a very huge economic initiative called Belt and Road to expand the global economy. As it has spent more than $300 billion on this project, and China plans to spend an additional trillion over the next 10 years. Many are the countries that have shown a positive view towards Chinese money, and I thought that they are almost free loans, but some consider negative, as he considered those loans very costly economically, and may work to curb these countries because they are related to the Chinese economy, and thus mortgage their future for Chinese companies. Therefore, everyone, and especially the concerned parties, must impose security and political stability and work to achieve peace in the Iraqi street in order to ensure a serious start in the implementation of the projects expected for the rise of Iraq again, otherwise such contracts will become obsolete on Iraq and increase its dumping of debts and dependency on other countries. Next article of interest for today. Rumors circulating that Fed will announce plans to digitize the dollar, says Anthony Pompliano, as US and China kick off historic trade deal. Rumors are swirling that the Federal Reserve plans to announce an initiative to digitize the U.S. dollar, according to Anthony Pompliano, co-founder of the blockchain venture capital fund Morgan Creek Digital. Pomp first tweeted about the rumors earlier today, reporting that an announcement could come as soon as this week in an effort that could mimic China's digitization of the yuan. If the U.S. moves ahead with a digital currency, Pompliano believes it would contribute to the crypto movement in the U.S. in a big way. If they digitize the dollar, it will drive adoption of digital wallets. Once people get a digital wallet, they will ultimately move towards the soundest money IMO, in my opinion. The rumor is a stark departure from what top regulators indicated last month. In early December, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell and U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin, who has called Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies a threat to national security, both said there is no need for a digital dollar. Speaking last month at a House Financial Services Committee hearing in Washington, Mnuchin affirmed, Chair Powell and I have discussed this. We both agree that in the near future, in the next five years, we see no need for the Fed to issue a digital currency. China's digital currency, CBDC, continues to advance. In December the head researcher at the People's Bank of China unveiled more details regarding how the country aims to become a cashless society. Mu Cheng Chun confirmed that China's upcoming digital currency will be a digital form of the yuan and that there will be no speculation on its value. According to Cheng Chun, testing of China's digital currency electronic payment project is complete along with top-level design, formulation and five years of research. The next phase is to begin pilot programs in advance of the digital currency's official launch. China has been pushing to overhaul the financial services industry, implementing new policies that promote mobile and digital technology, particularly in rural areas, setting the bar for other nations to modernize by leveraging blockchain and digital assets. Meanwhile, Top U.S. and Chinese officials are making progress on tariff negotiations that have dogged much of President Donald Trump's tenure. President Trump and Chinese Vice Premier Liu He signed an historic Phase 1 China trade deal today at the White House.
The deal is expected to have a major impact on U.S. farmers as it secures an estimated $40 minus $50 billion in purchases. Trump thanked President Xi, calling him a really good friend. Vice President Mike Pence called it a new day for the U.S. and China. Today is the start of a new chapter in trade relations between the two largest economies in the world. Next article of interest. Ex chairman to promote blockchain based USD in new think tank. J. Christopher Giancarlo, former chairman of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFDC, plans to promote the blockchain based United States dollar with a new think tank. Giancarlo, who earned the Crypto Dad moniker for advocating a do no harm approach to blockchain regulation, is now setting up a think tank called the Digital Dollar Foundation to promote the idea of digitizing the U.S. dollar. John Carlaw's digital dollar is based on technology behind Bitcoin. According to a January 16 report by the Wall Street Journal, the ex chairman is establishing the nonprofit foundation to study prospects for converting the dollar into a fully electronic currency based on blockchain, the underlying technology of Bitcoin. BTC. As reported, the initiative will be promoting research and exploration of potential benefits presented by digitizing the U.S. dollar and is expected to launch later on January 16. Alleged eKrona partner Accenture is supporting the project and foundation. Both the new foundation and John Carlaw's digital dollar project are supported by global consulting giant Accenture plc, the report notes. In December 2019, Sweden's central bank revealed its plans to partner with Accenture for its own digital currency known as the e-krona. Other founders of the The Digital Dollar Foundation include Daniel Gorfine, a former CFDC official who led the regulator's fintech research, and John Carlaw's brother Charles Jane Carlo. Charles previously worked at international tech and at firm Cisco Systems and private equity firm Silver Lake Partners. While the John Carlos and Gore Fine are providing the initial funding for the foundation, Accenture will focus on providing research as well as logistical support, company representatives reportedly said. Cointograph reached out to Gore Fine for comment on the initiative but had yet to receive a response as of press time. This article will be updated if new comments come in. Giancarlo previously argued that the dollar could lose status in the future. Giancarlo, who first proposed his digital dollar initiative in October 2019, emphasized that the U.S. risks losing its global economic leadership if it falls behind China, which is smoothly progressing with its digital yen project. In an interview with the WSJ, Giancarlo stressed that his foundation was a non-profit and targets advancing U.S. national interests. He said, Like with the physical infrastructure of this country, if you don't modernize and keep up with the times, those strengths will begin to fray. As Giancarlo argued in October, the U.S. needs to create the digital dollar because traditional dollar could lose its status in the future due to countries rolling out digital currencies. He said at the time, significant actors, including central banks and social media platforms, may launch new currencies in the next few years. As their networks grow, they could eventually erode the dollar's status as the most popular currency for international exchange. In September 2019, Giancarlo joined the board of advisors of the Chamber of Digital Commerce's Digital Asset Lobbying Group. So let me know your thoughts below. It is not so far-fetched, is it? Please hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit the Denarian blog and find me on Facebook. Please take a moment and visit our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout along with the mobile application added on at no extra charge. Also, get registered as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program today. If you do not keep your savings in an asset like gold, you may lose everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold. I know what you're thinking, gold is too expensive right? This program is made so low-income people can afford to buy gold in small increments, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today.
and secure your family's savings. You can always transfer gold into any kind of money you want, the gold will always be in your possession. The gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad, the dollar will not. Ask yourself this, why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links are available in the description box below this video. Knowledge is power. Over and out for now, the Denarian.